guys, this video is going to be a book review of Space Team by Barry J. Hutchison. I was lent this by my aunt, who liked it, but didn't think it was fantastic. So, I was kind of interested in it. It looked pretty interesting. Saying that Cal Carver was having a bad day would be an understatement. Firstly, he was imprisoned, in the wrong prison, with a cannibalistic serial killer in the same cell. Then, he gets kidnapped by aliens who were looking for said cannibalistic serial killer and think that he's him. Then, the aliens kill about two-thirds of humanity while kidnapping him and send him off as part of a team of super criminals to go and negotiate for peace between two galactic empires. How will Cal beat the odds and change his luck? You'll have to read the book and find out. I really enjoyed this book. It was really, really quite fun and gave some really quite clever ideas. Uh, a little bit of a, a twist or two. It was just a really fun change in some ways. Everything with the Samorium and Vertex and Cal and the two women just twisted just that little bit to a point where, oh, that's not, that's new, sort of thing. There were just some really clear subversions that mucked around with some tropes for a bit and I always enjoy a good subversion. They're, they're really quite fun. I also found the characterization of Cal to be really quite interesting in that he is a bad guy that doesn't see himself as a bad guy. He's a very layered character because he's, he's a bad guy that sees himself as a good guy. Truly the hero being a hero because we see his intentions. He doesn't see himself as being as bad as all these murderers and folk that he was going to be locked up with and he doesn't really see a problem with the things that he's done. If he's been imprisoned as many times as he says he is in the start of the book, he's kind of a bad guy. It's an interesting take on that. He is only the hero and a good guy because we can see in his head. His actions to other people, including every other character in this book, are not good. There, he's not a good guy in that way. Sure, he grows some moral dimension over the course of the book, but doesn't mean he's a good guy still. He's almost entirely about himself, not caring about other people. Another thing that I quite enjoyed were the random references to Tobey Maguire. I have no idea why specifically these were dropped in, but it was just surprisingly fun as to how it, it happened. Cal just couldn't stop thinking about that one celebrity for most of the novel. It's probably just a coping mechanism or something, but it was, it was quite funny. It was just the juxtaposition of random Earth celebrity compared to big space battles that really Cal has no business being part of sort of thing. It really did it for me on a humour standpoint, especially as it was lampshaded at every opportunity how ridiculous this was. Now one thing that I did find slightly odd was that almost all of the aliens followed the trope of being either humans with different skin colours than the ones we normally see, or animals that were different in some way or other. Wasn't that fussed about that, because you know, it's just a bit corny in that way. I would have liked some more time with characters that weren't just able to be people in costumes because we didn't have that many moments with that sort of thing. Hopefully, get some in the next book because it's uh, part of a series. No idea where it's going to go with the next one. Well, I have a few ideas, but... You know, wait and see. To end on a positive note, I really liked the character of Mech. He was really fun. He had, you know, irrational anger, but he had intelligence in other bits and just lots of cool character traits. And just he just was a brilliant character. And I loved the little bit towards the end where he pointed out the vi that the virus was not trapping him in with it. It was trapping it in with him. It was just... A moment of badassery that brilliant, brilliantly done, brilliantly done. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. It was a lot of fun, even if it wasn't the most substantial. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this book if you've read it. 
I'd love to know what you think, so let me know down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails down below to see other videos by me. There's going to be book reviews down here. And my most recent video is going to be down here. Bye.